Okay, guys. Obviously, I'm gonna show you the origami finger puppet. So, first of all, you take a regular sheet of paper and fold it in half. Well, printer paper, fold it in half long ways. Of course, I did already. Then you're gonna fold that in half long ways again. You're gonna you're gonna cut a fourth of it out. Your big boy scissors. So, just gonna cut that out. Make sure it's almost perfect. So, you have that, right? You're gonna fold down about an inch. So, fold down about. Let's see, about one inch would probably be about here. So, that's your one inch down. Now you're gonna do the squash fold. So, you're gonna fold that, this corner down onto that line. Here, so it's like that. Unfold it and do it on the back, because you really wanna do a good squash fold. Do the same on the other side. Does it have to be perfect? No. So now you're just gonna open it up a little bit. And just do the splash forward like I rec I recommend seeing the water bomb first. But first you're just gonna push this down, push it down, then just fold. Since this crease is here, you're just gonna make it so it looks like a triangle. Once you have this down, you just you have like this left. You're gonna crease it so it looks like a triangle and just fold it back. You can do it on the other side too, so I'm not gonna explain it really because I just did. So there. That these two flaps are gonna be his ears. Not yet though. You're gonna flip it over so you have that. Fold up about an inch again. Then you're gonna fold back, except you're gonna make it like a zigzag. So you have that, you're gonna fold back. So you have a tiny zigzag. As you can see, you have folded on your fold. So at first you had that, then you're gonna fold back so about a centimeter is left. So it's like a centimeter of a zigzag over here. You can see that. So once you have that, you're gonna fold it up into about the head, but not quite. Not really quite. I'm gonna do that. And then once you have that, there should be a tiny bit left of the head here. You're going to fold back and make another zigzag. You already know how to do that, so I'm not going to explain it. Once you've done that, you have, you're pretty much done with your Yoda. Then you're going to... You're gonna fold the whole thing in half, technically. Uh, so you have a, a fainted crease, right? You have a crease in the middle, right down the middle. And you're gonna, this is the hard part, so I'm gonna show you over here. Take it, and you're gonna. Make sure the flaps aren't on the side. You're gonna fold it so it's like this. It's okay if one's a little bigger than the other. It's not critical. Just wait one sec here. 
This isn't really working for me. Ah, here we go. I see why. We're gonna take it and then fold down there. So mine's pretty much done. Once you have that, you should have a little over here. Yeah, you should have a little left. I'll show you that again because I didn't think you saw that. I'm gonna take the side, fold it kind of on that crease. We have that. Are you gonna put it on the other side? Let's see here. Like I said, it's okay if one side's a little bigger than the other. Well, you're not supposed to make it too big or too small. So that's kind of the beauty of it. Because you have to really think of how big and how small you want the body. And then. Once you've done that, you could fold the ears back up. Uh, and you're just going to draw a face on here. Well, I don't have a pen, right? Oh, here's one. I did recycle my pen in this cardboard. I'm going to draw a very wise face. I think that's pretty wise. So now, once you do that, you would actually take your, your scissor or your, or your knife, whatever you use, and cut. Let's show you this. You're actually going to cut him out and on from this first flap over here. In the back, I'm gonna cut him out one arm. So, you did that. And I'm just gonna fold it back over here a little bit. And I'm gonna cut it out the other side too. So, once you cut out the arms, you're gonna fold them back in the front. Let's take that. Then even if you want, you could actually round down the head a little bit, but I'm not going to go that far. Uh, you could uh, take a piece of tape. Uh, and then you're just going to tape the back because, of course, it's a finger puppet. And you're going to want to let your fingers go. You're just going to take the back a little bit, and you can put your finger in there, and there you go. Got your origami finger pu puppet Yoda. Pretty cool. Rate, comment, subscribe. Bye.